Hello and welcome to the conversational hour with Priscilla. I'm very excited about being with you today and presenting our class, Charles is going to the market. I'm bringing up now our reading material, which is Charles is going to the supermarket. I hope that you all will enjoy what we're going to look at and learn today as we engage in conversational speaking. Hello, Tariq. How are you? It's good to see you here. Hello, I'm Hi, Tariq. How are you? I'm how are you, Tariq? About you? I'm good. You Your voice me? is extremely low. Your voice is extremely low. Uh, what about now? Much better. Much better. Much better. Thank you. Hello, Honor. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm great. Thank you. And you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Onur, where are you calling in from today? I'm from Turkey. You're from Turkey. It's nice to meet yeah. you. How long nice have you been you. with How long have you been with Verbling? Actually, um, more than one year. But more this than is one first year. lesson with you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's my first lesson. Thank you for joining me. I'm excited. Now, what what are your main goals for Conversational English, or what are your main goals? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I am a food engineer uh, who works for an, a data factory. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have uh, we have some uh, companions uh, from outside, mm -hmm. from abroad. So uh, I need English very well. Mm -hmm. I I have to uh, improve my skills. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, if you've been with Verb Verbling for over a year and you're working with Americans, this class is going to be good for you. It will add to your repertoire of things that you're currently doing. Primarily, what you will mostly get from me are techniques. My mm -hmm. um, information sources are uh, very manageable, I should say. But what you can bring to the conversation is the eloquence of a higher vocabulary. When you're giving me responses to something, you mm -hmm. can respond in the uh, language of an advanced learner, if you wish. Or you can use the language of the text, which is the basic or the beginners, or you can use intermediate language. I will leave that up to you, but I'm very happy to have you here, and it's nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank Tariq? How have you been since yesterday? You've been doing good? Tariq? Tariq? Have you been doing good since yesterday? Oh my god, I can't get you, sorry. Okay, I met you yesterday. Yes. Yes, and I said, how have you been since yesterday? Oh, I guess I'm doing well. Okay, you're doing well. <laughs> okay, and Wiesla, let's hope that your microphone is working now. How are you, Wiesla? Yes, thank you. I'm. Thank you. I'm well. How are you? Awesome. I am doing awesome. Thank you for joining me. And your microphone seems to be working perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now, go. I'm going to give each of you a number. In the event other people come. I may not remember your name fully, but I remember the number. So, Onur, could you tell me how to pronounce your name? Yeah, Onur. Oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> you are number one. Okay. Tariq, you are number two. And Wiesla, you are number three. Again, I am Priscilla, and I am with you for the next hour, for the conversational hour with Priscilla. Today's topic is going to be Charles is going to the supermarket. My my um, camera isn't working, and if either one of you can tell me what to do, what I get when I come on is a kaleidoscope of my desktop. 
but I don't see my picture and I checked my settings and I didn't know what to do after going there to look. So maybe okay. if anyone knows, I can try it, but if not, and I've logged off and logged back on, but that didn't help. All right, we'll dispense with that. This is Charles is going to the supermarket. So, owner, when you look at a title such as this, what do you think this might be about? So, there's a person who, whose name is Charles. Good. Uh, he will going to a supermarket. Mm -hmm. He will go to a supermarket. So, mm -hmm. uh, actually, he needs some um, materials, maybe. Mm -hmm. Some food. Good. Some stuff. Okay, great. Thank you. Now let's check in with Tariq. Tariq, when you see the title, what do you think? Uh, I think um, he's going to the supermarket to shopping uh, for food. Mm -hmm. Good. And let's check with Weasla. Weasla, when you see the title, what do you think? I think that Charles uh, wants something to buy and uh, this way he won't go to the supermarket. Okay, great. All right, so let's take a look and find out what it is that is going on. Charles is going to the supermarket. Our first reader will be number one. So if you will read until I until you see number two, and that first one will be owner. Would you start reading? I have lots of pictures here to help you with your understanding of what it is that I'm going to ask you to do. It may help you with your vocabulary. And we'll see if you need it. Okay. okay. Owner, if you'll start. Okay. Charles is looking in his refrigerator. A refrigerator is oft, often um, called a fridge for short. People put things that needed to stay cold in the refrigerator. Things that need to be frozen are put in the freezer. Charles has to go to the supermarket today, so he is making a shopping list. People usually make make a list things. Uh, sorry, people usually make a list of things of uh, things to buy before they go to the store. If you make a list, then you won't forget what to buy. Good. Continue. Okay. It has been a week since Charles went to the supermarket. There are only a few things in his refrigerator. There is a little uh, milk and a little juice. There are a few eggs and a few apples. Okay. There is some cheese and co uh, some pasta noodles. There are a lot of onions and tomatoes. There are a lot of onions and tomatoes, but only one green pepper. There isn't any lecture. Lettuce. Letter, okay. This or is garlic. Lettuce, lettuce or garlic? Letter. Lettuce. Lettuce. Let, lettuce. 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 Mm -hmm. Or garlic. Uh, there isn't any butter or bread either. Charles, Charles is making dinner. He will start with a salad and then have spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread for the main course. For dessert, he is making his famous apple pie with vanilla ice cream. His wife is excited because she doesn't have to cook tonight. She's helping him make a list for the supermarket. Okay. Did you understand what you read? Yeah, I understood, but it's very hard uh, when uh, there is hole between the words. Okay. So the pictures, mm -hmm. the pictures are a little uh, disconcerting for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm the, not kidding. <laughs> but the pictures will help others. All right. Okay. So let us now ask. Uh, read this one again. Read this one without the pictures. Uh, owner. Okay. Okay. Charles is looking in his refrigerator. Ref refrigerator is often called a fridge for short. People put things that need to stay cold in the refrigerator. Things that need to be frozen are put in the 
freezer. Charles has to go to the supermarket today, so he's making a shop list list. Shopping list. People usu uh, usually make a list of things to buy before they, they go to the store. If you make a list, then you won't forget what to buy. Continue. It has been a week since Charles went to the supermarket. There are only a few things in his refrigerator. There is a little milk and little juice. There are a few eggs and a few apples. There is some cheese and some pasta noodles. There are a lot of onions and tomatoes, but only one green pepper. There isn't any lecture, lesser or garlic. That's lettuce. There isn't any butter. That's lettuce. lettuce. <laughs> okay. Lettuce, okay. Mm -hmm. Lettuce or garlic. There isn't any butter or bread either. Charles, uh, Charles is making dinner. He will start with a salad and then have spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread for the main course. For dessert, he is making uh, he is making uh, his famous apple pie with vanilla ice cream. His wife is excited because she doesn't have to uh, have to cook tonight. She is helping with him a list of a list for the supermarket. Okay, very nicely read. Can you tell me what you read? Can you summarize what you read? Okay. Uh, Charles um, went to the supermarket and uh, there are some uh, vegetables uh, in, her, uh, in his uh, refrigerator. Uh, and there isn't some, so uh, he went to the supermarket and he uh, he bought he bought some uh, vegetables like garlic and pepper. Um, very first uh, of the paragraph uh, described. Okay, the, okay, uh, no, that's good. So owner, okay, everything that everything that I offer. I offer with kindness and love and those things that goes along with being a conversational coach. When you are summarizing, you read very well, you speak very well. So this may help perhaps in your job. When you are summarizing, you want to synthesize the main points. So when they ask you something on your job, they just want you to cut through the chase. They don't want all the extra, only the beginners or the intermediate person would tell so many details. The gist of this passage would be Charles is going to go to the supermarket. He looked into the refrigerator, he saw all of the things that he needed, he made it a, he made a list, he's going to make his famous pie and his wife is happy. That's like five things. When you were telling me the summary, you used a lot of uhs and uhs and uhs. That is your native language trying to speak to you. So if you have been on Verbling for a year, I'm going to give you the challenge today that from now on, I want you to be aware that if you're saying ahs and ums and whatever, mm -hmm. you want whoever, if they will do this to help you, ask them to remind you if you are saying ah too many times because what that ah is doing is keeping you from being fluent and you're not flowing with your conversation. I do believe that you know what you want to say but your native language, your native tongue is still trying to interfere. So yeah. now it took you like two minutes to read it and three minutes to tell it it should be different. It should take you shorter time to tell it than it does to read it. So in your mind I want you to tell me now in 30 seconds what this passage is about. Okay. When I count to three I want you to start one, two, three. Okay. Charles uh, went, <laughs> sorry, Charles went to the supermarket so he bought some vegetables. Uh, there's, there's an exit in uh, his refrigerator. So he cooked some meals. 
for her wife, uh, for his wife. So uh, his her, his wife will be happy. Okay, good. You did that in 25 seconds. You only had seven ahs, <laughs> but you repeated something two times. You can do it, but you need to be aware that you're doing it. Okay, so let's try it again for another 30 seconds on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Charles went to the supermarket for some vegetables to buy. To buy him. Uh, so he need to some vegetables to cook to cook in. So uh, he cooked a some special pie for uh, for her uh, his uh, wife. Okay. So, so we got wife. down to we got down to three. We got down to three. <laughs> so you see, when you become aware of what you're doing, you get better. And on your job, they probably you're probably extremely good at what you do, so they don't correct you. But now you are aware of it, so you want to correct yourself. And I promise you, the content doesn't matter. As long as you can start lining the words up, you can talk about whatever it is that you do on your job. But I don't know what you do on your job, so I can't pull up text and, and work with you on something that I don't understand. But if you can take simple material and repeat it correctly, you can do this with more difficult material. Now I want you to go from 30, I want you to go to 15 seconds and tell me the story. Starting at okay. the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Charles went to the supermarket to buy some vegetables. So he need to cook some special pie for her his wife. So he did. Good. And you did that in 12 seconds and you had two hours. Now I want you to tell me this story in five seconds, starting <laughs> at, the count of, at the count of three. And please do not say okay, just start talking. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket to buy some vegetables, so he did, he did his special uh, uh, pie. Okay. Charles went to the supermarket to buy dinner. So Charles went to the supermarket to get food for dinner. Bam. That's it. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I meant one, two, three. Go. Charles want wanted, wanted to go to the supermarket to buy some vegetables for dinner. Okay, good. And you don't have to speed up your voice. You can just say, Charles went to the supermarket to buy food for groceries, or Charles went to the supermarket to buy food for dinner. You don't have to speed up the rate at which you speak. You just speak calmly. Okay, great job. Great job. Thank you. Now let us... Hey, David, how are you? Well, I know David is here, but we will get back to him. Hi, Mustafa. David is four. Hi. Hey, David, you're number four. Mustafa, you're number five. Now we're okay. going to go to Tariq. Tariq, would you prefer to have the story with the pictures or without? Tariq, are you still with us? Yes, yes, anything. Okay, let's try it with the pictures. Okay. Let's try it with the pictures. Okay. You may start. Charles is going to the supermarket. Okay. Charles is going to the supermarket. Charles is looking in his refrigerator. A refrigerator is often called a fridge. So mm -hmm. people uh, put things that need to stay cold in the refrigerator. Things that need to be frozen are put in the freezer. Charles has to go to the supermarket today, so he he is making a shopping list. People usually make a, a, a list of things to buy before they go to the store. If you make a list, then you won't forget what to buy. It has been a week since Charles went to the supermarket. There are only a few things in the, his refrigerator. There is a, a little milk and a little juice. There are a few eggs and a few apples. 
there is some cheese and some pasta noodles there are a lot of onions and tomatoes but only one green pepper 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 mm -hmm. there isn't any uh, lettuce good or garlic there isn't any butter or bread either Charles is making dinner he will start with a salad and uh, then have uh, spaghetti and uh, meatballs with garlic bread for the main course for dessert he is making his famous apple pie uh, with vanilla vanilla uh, mm -hmm. ice cream his wife is excited because she doesn't have to cook tonight show uh, so uh, sorry she's helping him make a list for the supermarket okay good can you read this one without the pictures please okay Charles is going to, uh, sorry Charles is looking in his refrigerator a refrigerator is often called a fridge for short people put things that need to stay cold the uh, in the refrigerator things that need to be frozen are put in the freezer Charles has to go to the super uh, the supermarket today so he is making a shopping list people usually make a list of things to buy before they go to the store if you make a list then you won't forget what to buy it has been a week since Charles went to the supermarket there are only a few things in his refrigerator there is a little milk and little juice there are a few eggs and a few apples mm -hmm. there is some and some pasta noodles uh, there are a lot of onions and tomatoes but only one green pepper there there isn't any lettuce and garlic there isn't any butter or bread either. Charles is making dinner. He will start with a salad and then has the spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread for the main course. For dessert, he is making his famous apple pie with vanilla ice cream. His wife is excited because she doesn't have to cook tonight. She is helping him make a list for the supermarket. Okay, nice reading. Can you summarize for me what you read? Okay. Eric? Okay, uh, Char uh, Charles uh, went to uh, the supermarket uh, after he doesn't uh, found uh, uh, anything in his uh, refrigerator. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, Charles, d d d uh, the last time uh, that he went to the supermarket uh, was the last... Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to stop you there. And this is going to be for everyone that is going to be coming after Tariq. When you are hearing yourself, I'm counting for your Oz. If I get to 10, when I get to 10 Oz, I probably will stop you. Your goal is to monitor yourself, but you have to be aware of it first. So you have to tell yourself, oh, I'm saying ah. That is your native tongue trying to tell you that you can't do this. You shouldn't be trying to do this. What's wrong with you? You should only speak your native language. If it was meant for you to speak a second language, you would have come into the world speaking a second language. So babies don't cry with an accent. They learn the language of their native land. But if you take that baby from their native land, they will speak with the accent, the sound of whoever they live with, most likely. So you have to find a way to get your voice in your head to be quiet. So Tariq, I want you to tell me again in 30 seconds this story. All right, on the count of three, you may start. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket. Uh, after he didn't uh, found uh, anything in his uh, refrigerator, 
and uh, he w I went to, uh, he went to the supermarket with uh, with the supermarket list to, uh, because he ordered. Okay, uh, and his, please uh, stop. <laughs> okay, now that you you had not finished in your thirty seconds and you're still using the Oz, that's okay. You're going to get it. Your brain is still trying to tell you that you cannot do this, but I'm telling you that you can. Tell me three things that you remember about this story. Okay, uh, his uh, his uh, wife was excited. Okay, that's one. Uh, wife is excited. Uh, what else? Uh, he 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 want to uh, make his uh, famous apple pie. Okay, make famous pie. Okay, that's two. Did he make a list? Yes. Okay. Three more. Uh, and, okay, and he uh, he he didn't have uh, except uh, little eggs, and uh, okay, okay, and there is no uh, there are no uh, uh, bread or uh, uh, lettuce. Did he have one red pe one green pepper? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But he did not have any lettuce. All right. So what I have written down, his wife is excited. He's, he's excited. He is excited about making his pie. He made a list. He has little eggs. He has no bread. And he has no lettuce. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell me what he doesn't have. What are the things he doesn't have? There were three of them you said. Three? More, you more. said no, no bread. No lettuce. Okay. He went to the supermarket. Okay, he went. Uh, okay, he went to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. What else? And uh, he um, <clears throat> he went to the supermarket and buy uh, to a four, four pie. Um, okay, another thing. Uh, okay, wait. Let's see. Where did he go? Hmm? Where did Charles go? The supermarket. Why did he go to the supermarket? Why to buy uh, some vegetables? Okay, Charles went to the supermarket to buy some vegetables. What did he purchase? Mm. <clears throat> Which, uh, what did he buy? I can't remember. <laughs> did he buy any eggs? Yes, uh, eggs and the bread. Eggs and bread, and did he get some ice cream? Vanilla ice cream? Yes, vanilla, yes. Okay, tell me what did he do? Who went to the store? Who went Charles. to Charles? What did he buy? He bought um, <coughs> uh, some uh, eggs and uh, bread and uh, ice cream, vanilla. Okay. Uh, did he make a list? Yes. Okay. Store. So he made a list, he went to the store, he bought some bread and milk and vanilla ice cream. Right? Yes. Okay. Tell me what Charles did on the count of three. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket, he made a list to buy uh, some v eggs, bread, and uh, vanilla ice cream. Great. Only two Oz. Tell me again, and you did that in... Tw in uh, 16 seconds. Tell me again and try not to say ah on the count of three. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket. He made a list before uh, coming. Uh, he made a list and uh, his wife uh, helped him in this list to uh, buy uh, some eggs, uh, bread, okay. and uh, ice cream vanilla. <laughs> okay. You went off script. Your brain is still trying to interfere because we didn't mention the wife, we only mentioned the list, the eggs, yeah. the sh supermarket. <laughs> only tell me what we talk about because you'll get okay. confused. On the count of three, 15 seconds now. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket. Uh, he made the list. He bought um, uh, um, <coughs> <laughs> oh, <I guess. laughs> Stop. 
Okay, one more time. 15 seconds. Charles made a list. Charles went to the supermarket. Charles yeah. bought some bread. Charles bought some ice cream. Okay. Just always say Charles first. Charles did this. Charles did this. Charles did this. Charles did this. Your brain doesn't know that you're making a mistake. I know it. But your brain is trying to tell you to do something. But I'm just giving you, I just want the words to come out of your mouth. You just need to keep speaking English. On the count of three. One, two, three. Charles went to the supermarket. Charles made a list. Charles bought um, bread and eggs. Good. Okay. You had one eye in there. Very good. Okay. Just concentrate on the Oz. You just have to be made aware that you're saying it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the opportunity to be aware. I'm your mirror. I see it every time. And your classmates can hear it. Sometimes you can go to the class with someone that you know and you say, okay, Onar, listen to me speak in my class. Tell me how many times I say ah uh, and repeat things. They can send you that information in the chat, but continue with the lesson. You will learn more and more by interacting in many different classes, but being aware of what you personally want to get out of the class. Okay, Mustafa, hello. Mustafa, are you there? Unmute your mic. Okay, David, are you here? Unmute your mic. Yes, yes, Priscilla, I'm here. Okay, David, I'm not going to have you read this story because I know that you know the story. We're going to go on to the to another part of the story. And if you don't have the answers, you will learn the answers as you go along. So, David, I'm going to ask you some questions. I want you to answer as quickly as you can. You can say yes, no, I don't know, yes he did, no he didn't. I want you to be very, very instant with your response. What What is Charles doing? He, he's looking in his refrigerator. Good, excellent. He's looking in the refrigerator. Where is he going to go? He's going to the supermarket. Fantastic. Why is he making a list? He's making a list because he's going to make his famous apple pie. Fantastic. Are there any oranges in his refrigerator? I don't know. I think no. Okay, just one answer. Are there any refriger are there any oranges in his refrigerator? Uh, I don't think so. Is there any bread? No. There is, is there bread. a is there a lot of milk? Uh, there, there is uh, a little of milk. Okay. Is there a lot of milk? There's a little milk. Is there a lot of milk? No, there's a little milk. Is there a lot of milk? No, there is a little milk. Great. What is Charles making for dinner? Uh, he's going to make his famous, his famous apple pie. Is he making spaghetti? No. What does Charles have to buy at the supermarket? He has to buy bread, uh, apples, uh, some garlic, pepper, Letters, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Will Charles, will Charles buy any apples? Uh, he, he, yes. I, I don't know. Will he buy a carton of ice cream? Yeah, I think. I don't know. What uh, kind of ice cream will he buy? Vanilla ice cream. Great. How much bread will he buy? I don't know. What is Charles making for dessert? Apple pie. Did Charles forget anything? Uh, no, because he's going to make a grocery, a grocery list. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for that. Um, Owner, are you still here? Owner, are you still here? Unmute your microphone, Owner, if you're still here. Tariq, are you still here? Okay, answer the questions, Tariq. When I ask you the questions, what is Charles doing? Tariq, what is Charles doing? Unmute your microphone, Tariq. Okay, David, yes. I'm back to you. Maybe they walked away. David, let's do this dialogue together. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'll be two, and you'll be one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do I need to buy? I have to improvise or same. You can you can just use what's here for a guide, or you can you can say what you wish. Okay. What do I need to buy? Uh, well, do we have enough noodles? We have some noodles, but not enough. How about toma tomato sauce? I don't see any tomato sauce in the refrigerator. Are there any Are there any onions in the fridge? Yes, we have too many onions. Oh, do we need any tomatoes or garlic or bread? There are a lot of tomatoes, but we don't have any garlic. Are you making a salad or a dessert? Uh, I think I'll just make a salad. Okay, yes, I'll make I'll make a dessert. Okay. So, do you need uh, any apples for the for the dessert? Yeah, we just have a few. We need some more apples. Did you look in the fridge for the apples? Mm, no, let me check. No, we don't have any apples. Okay. Uh, we should get some vanilla ice cream uh, uh, and some um, apples for the, for the dessert. Okay, that's great. Rather than make apple pie this time, can we have peach pie? Peach pie, okay, but don't forget to buy the peach in the supermarket. Yeah, let's get peaches instead of apples. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right, good job. Now what I want you to do, David, is look at this list. I want you to choose one of these items. And if there's no one else here, I will talk with you. But if there is, I want you to have a conversation with someone about one of these topics. Uh, Which one will you choose? Yeah. What is your favorite meal? Bread box, lunch, or dinner? What number is it? Two. Okay. You were going to talk about what is your favorite meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And let's see if anyone's in here other than me. Um... Uh, Onar, are you here? Um, Tariq, are you here? Okay, they're not. So we'll talk. My favorite, my favorite. What was the question? What is your favorite meal? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? <laughs> my favorite meal is yeah. lunch. I love lunch. Oh, okay, for me too. Why do you like lunch? I will tell you the reason I like lunch is because I never get up early enough to have breakfast. <laughs> what is your favorite meal? Uh, I agree with you. My favorite meal is the lunch because the, uh, because the lunch is like the, the, the meal, the most important meal in the day. Mm -hmm. Did you eat lunch today? Uh, no, because it's morning for me. It's uh -huh. morning for you. So yeah. you're going to eat lunch later? I think I am going to, to eat lunch uh, uh, after 2 or 3 p.m. Mm, that would be too late for me, but I like the idea of eating lunch later. Eating lunch for me is around 1 o'clock, then I'm not too hungry for missing my breakfast. Do you eat supper too? Supper? Yeah, I like it supper. Uh, I like supper. Because, what time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's more complete the, 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 the lunch with supper. So what time do you eat eat supper? About what time do you eat supper? Uh, I think at, at the same time that I eat lunch. You eat supper and lunch at the same time? Yeah. So do you eat once once a day or two times a day? No, just once. <laughs> oh, just once a day. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll eat sometimes, most of the times I will eat two times a day, but my lunch and my supper are very close together. If I eat lunch at one, I may eat supper at four or five, yeah. and that's like you're just eating your lunch at three. But this is how this is how I like to do mine because I don't want to go to sleep while I've eaten a big meal. I don't want to become obese. Yeah. And I think I think if you go to eat, if you eat and go to sleep, your body isn't moving. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. If you want to have uh, a good sleeping, you have to eat some light food because mm -hmm. if you eat uh, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of dinner, you are going to be obese and your stomach uh, 
and, and maybe you are going to have some troubles in your inside of your stomach. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So that's why I like to eat early. On the weekends, like today is Saturday, I may not even eat really a lunch. I may just eat one meal, and then that's because I probably will go out with my go out with my friends, and then we'll laugh and have fun and we'll long. But it's not really a big meal or anything like that. So that's what we typically do. So what do you have planned for the weekend? Okay, um, uh, taking some class uh, in the morning and in the afternoon I have to go to the college for more classes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and, yeah, what are you yeah. studying? What are you studying? I actually I study finance uh, in the college. Okay, you study finance in the college. Let me check to see if Tariq is back. Tariq, are you back? No. Nope. All right. Well, David, even in your everyday conversation, when I just ask you, what are you studying? I want you to be aware that you're saying, ah, uh, and you know very well that you're studying finance. You said, I said, David, what are you studying? You said, uh, I am uh, studying finance. So what are you studying, David? I study finance. Great. You see how being aware of what you're saying, you're training yourself. You have to train yourself to be aware. Do you have you ever seen training wheels on a tricycle for babies for little children? Yeah, I have seen the, the device for the kids. Okay. Yeah. And the reason that they were there, the reason that the training wheels are there, is to help the child know that they're making a mistake by falling off of the bicycle. But as soon as the child knows that I can keep this bicycle balanced, the training wheel still stays on but the child doesn't need them and pretty soon you will not need me to remind you that you're saying ah but first you have to be aware that you're saying it has anyone ever told you that you were saying ah so many times no actually uh, Priscilla is the first teacher that uh, gave us uh, advice for improved conversational skills like don't say ah be more aware, be encouraged more to be speaking, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of things. Because the other teacher are more are more focusing, for example, grammar and pre and present and present and like mm -hmm. present, present and yeah, thanks. Right, uh, and those things are important because I will tell you, for for you, David, when it comes to grammar, I probably will not respond to you with. Is this a noun? Is this an adjective? I do know what most of them are, but I know them in a way that I know them, but I don't know them in a way to teach it to you. I just know what they are. I just know that if I'm talking, if I say I'm going to play outside or I'm playing outside, I played outside, I really can't really tell you when to use which one. <laughs> but but I know which one to use, but yeah. a teacher that teaches grammar can teach you when to use the ing, the ed, mm -hmm. the s, but for me, I want to teach you how to get your conversation going and it becomes a part of training. It is a skill. Grammar, grammar is not a skill. So I'm teaching you how to train yourself to correct yourself, to be self-correcting, and that comes with just being aware. All right. Yeah, and I think you are right in that point because mm -hmm. when I'm, when I speak with a person and a language, he's not he's not going to correct my mistake. No. He's going to focus on what I say, and mm -hmm. and the, the idea is try try that that person understand me, not correct my common mistake. Exactly. And what I want and what I want what I want for you all is that when you, for me, when I'm speaking to a native English speaker, like my son, for example, he speaks very, very well. My son speaks very well. When someone doesn't speak very well, even though they are native English speakers, it sounds like they're speaking a foreign language to me because I have to I have to get through the the what what are they saying if they're using the words incorrectly I know the word 
but the sentence doesn't sound right, which means that every native English speaker doesn't speak correctly. No. I don't. I don't speak correctly all the time, but when someone is speaking incorrectly, or if, or another thing, if someone's cursing a lot, if every word, every sentence has curse words, that uh, that irritates me because that's not the way that I speak, and I, I don't want to tell someone all the time like you curse too much. I just have to disassociate myself from them. But since this is my job as a conversational coach, I want to make sure that you're getting the tools, the strategies, and the methods. Now, I am a trained coach, so I someone trained me. And so that's how I know what a language learner needs. You need to be timed. You, I need to have someone count how many times you say ah. And then later on, you will tell me, Priscilla, in today's class, I want to be able to use the word um, ammonia and amnesia and associated at the end of the class. So at the end of the class, we're going to use the word amnesia, associated, and whatever it was, that, whatever your purpose was for coming to class, I'm going to try to meet that. And those days when I have those vocabulary words in the box and we make our story up, that is when you get those vocabulary words. You can say, Priscilla, you know, today, rather than have someone give me three words, can I give the three words that I want to practice on? And because the story is so crazy, you will remember that story. And then you come back another day. If you still don't quite have those words, you can say, Priscilla, can I practice these words again? And we will make those words work for you. And additionally, you can always send me a note if there's something that you want to work on, and I will try and respond to it. This is not like having a class, but if I know before class starts, then I can already prepare that into the lesson for the day. Okay, David, we're at the final hour. What are your final words for today? Yeah, actually, I appreciate I appreciate a lot of your help because you are encouraging me to improve my skill, my skill abilities to speak English, to earn, to earn my English. And for me, it's very good that you make that. that, that for me. Well, it, well, it is truly my pleasure to be aware of where your weaknesses are and when you start to realize your strength I know that you'll be able to tell me that when you went to whichever class whether it's on campus in your country or online with verbling or talking with your friends your friends will soon be able to say David you're speaking better than you were last week yeah. and even since I've pointed this out to you in the last 15 minutes you have eliminated some of the excessive uhs as you speak to me and that is really really good so just be aware then today at the end of this session I want you to find five words that you want to learn remember some type of story like the story that we did today uh, Charles is going to the, to the market mm -hmm. remember the story mm -hmm. and put in five words that do not go to this story and tell the story and use your words find your little clock and time yourself and make sure that you use the words that you wanted to use so you can start at 30 seconds then go to 15 seconds then go to five seconds then choose something else it's just practice it's getting your brain to believe that you can do this and once your brain accepts that you're going to do it your brain will allow you to do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, David. It was my pleasure. Now I get to take a break. Enjoy your weekend. Bye for Thank now. You, okay. Bye-bye.